No, 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 no. Yep, that's me. Why did I jump on a moving train? Let's go back to the beginning so you can come along with Ben Beauchamp and me. I'll share that story and many others on this fantastic backcountry adventure. Are you okay? Yeah. Did you, did you smell there? No, I jumped and just put my hands down. Oh, okay. Well, it started picking up speed. I'm like, this thing's not going to slow down. <laughs> that was some, like, James Bond shit. Well, it's been an eventful morning already. <laughs> We're here on Bisco Tasting Lake. I'm up with uh, Ben Beauchamp. And we're gonna take the west branch of the Spanish. But we've had an interesting morning. We got picked up bright and early, the beautiful foggy morning after spending a night camped on the side of a little river. Yesterday we found a sweet little spot beside a beautiful waterfall. I had the van and Ben camped out beside me and we had an awesome little quiet night just hanging out. Bright and early this morning got picked up by my uncle Bruce who is uh, always my faithful chauffeur on these trips up here so Bruce dropped us off and we caught the train at a Cartier crazy little adventure already because I forgot my pelican case on the train and realized as the train was pulling away so like an idiot I chased the train jumped on the side and started beating on the door and Thankfully, they stopped the train. <laughs> the train started picking up speed and I thought, I gotta get out of here before this really picks up too much. And so I jumped off the train. We weren't going very fast at that point, but I thought if they don't see me on this thing, I'm gonna, the next stop is like an hour, an hour away, so they might not see me hanging on the side of this door. Yeah. All for the sake of a Pelican case with cameras and batteries and that was kind of dumb but at the same time they did stop the train I've got all my gear and we are on the lake and ready to go we've just come around the top of wind point and we were literally just saying a minute ago that we haven't had a single bite the whole whole way across and immediately Ben hooks into a fish. There we go. Walleye? A little pike. That's not rocket. Hang on a second. We gotta we gotta at least see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh I'm uh oh no you're good. There we go. You like the skunk for the tread? Yeah. Little pike. Nice. That smells good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one fish for Ben. Oh, we've reached the end of the lake and the Bisco Dam. So we're now into the river at a little 30 meter drag over portage. And the first cast, I hooked a fish. Just a little bass, he got off right beside the boat. There's another one, two for two. Let's get this one off. Come 
down there, little fella. Just a little bass. That one's a little better. That's the third one on three casts. Are you serious? Yeah. You just got two more? I got two. They were a little bit smaller than that one, but nice. three casts, three fish. Josh has found a uh, honey bowl. Pretty muddy right there. Oh, yeah. I had to drag all the way over to here just to get my boat to float. Oh. Beat this river. <laughs> Whose stupid idea was this anyway? Why'd you make me come out here? <laughs> we're getting close to the spot where we were thinking of camping. We'd both love to have a fish or two. Oh, there goes an eagle. It was a great day, and we found our campsite for the night. What was supposed to be a rapid is kind of a series of unrunnable ledges, or maybe runnable ledges, we'll see. But I haven't eaten anything all day since we had breakfast on the road this morning. Getting pretty hungry. It's 6.30. We only have about 30 or 40 minutes left of daylight. So, just gonna get a fire going, get some water boiled and I gotta cook something to eat. So I'm messing around right now. Just get camp set up. Think of that first.
was a great night. Beautiful night, beautiful campsite beside that rapid falls. We just hung out by the fire for a while, just chatting and kind of telling stories, getting to know each other since this is our first trip together. And I think we'll get into our first rapids of the trip this morning. So this rapid is called Stove Door Rapids. All right, we took a little scout here at Stove Door Rapids. Picked our line. Ben chose a good line here that I'm gonna try and follow. Kind of river left and then center. there a little bit but should have been a little bit farther to the right but it just didn't look right to me oh well well that was a fun little run to start the day Say that beaver is getting ready for winter. <laughs> That's a lot of sticks and brush. A very active beaver lodge. You can already hear our next wrap it up ahead. I think this is a little bit bigger one. The danger with this rapid is the steepest drop and the most technical part is right at the very top. That's where we're most likely to make an error, either swamp or dump. Ben has gone downstream. He's just around the corner of the first drop and he's set up with a throw bag. I'm going to try and catch an eddy right where he's standing. So hopefully I'm able to do that. Seems like a steep drop when you go over it, bud. <laughs> yeah. That went incredibly well. I didn't even pick up hardly a drop of water. I thought for sure I was gonna bury the bow into that wave, but we just coasted right over the top of it. I was pretty sick. So I'm standing down here now. I've got the throw bag and Ben's gone up. He's gonna run it and try and do the same thing to pull into this eddy. And then as long as he makes it in here and we're all good, We'll finish out the run. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, yeah, yes! 
Nice! Nice! Well done! <laughs> oh man, that feels good. That was awesome. And now the sun's coming out. I think that might have been the better line to go. It's kind of funny that the part we were all worried about at the top went perfectly and then we kind of just bounced our way down the rest. <laughs> oh. oh man. That's too fun. Do a fish yeah. here. Yeah. I thought maybe I was snagged and then all of a sudden the drag started. Oh yeah, a little pike. Oh, it's not so little. <laughs> Come on. Come here. Good one. It's got some shoulders on it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Not a bad fish. <laughs> Can I get him in the camera? What do you think? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> let him... Early for dinner, but... Yeah, we'll let him go, eh? Yeah. Here you go, bud. Pike slime. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, that was awesome. Nice. Nothing too serious here, but fun nonetheless. Didn't need to make that big wide turn, but whatever. All good. You know what would be wicked to see is a, a black bear like way up in a maple tree eating acorns. <laughs> well, it would be an oak tree then, wouldn't it? Or, sorry, yeah, oak. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you want to cut that out? <laughs> <laughs> and we've come to a, a fork in the river, so to our left is Snake River, which flows over and it joins into the East Branch. And when the water is high enough, there's actually quite a bit of water coming down. I've been there when it's a raging waterfall coming down, and then another year on the east where the snake was completely dry. But we're going to keep going down the west branch. To cut that part yeah, out. Cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having fun out here, if nothing else. Are you just all yeah, it looks like it. It's like a massive waterfall around the corner. Gonna stay farther right. It looks okay. Splash. Something to vary the monotony. Now there's plenty of water here. Coming up to a section where should have a few more rapids a little closer together and maybe we'll get into a few a little bit bigger sets. Just following through some little swifts. Fun though. Always fun when the water picks up. You feel the canoe get picked up by the speed of the current. Just makes me smile.
didn't turn the camera on so <sighs> well that's the way it goes I guess Lake LaBelle. Now we start looking for a campsite. And fishing. Nice. Can I keep it? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Try and get another one to match. Yeah, let's do it. I was just trolling around the lake and hooked into that. <laughs> that is a chunky smallmouth. Wow. That might be the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught.
This is not small, dude. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> what just happened? So I'm cleaning the fish here. <laughs> Holy. I'm cleaning the fish. I throw the guts in the water. Right where I throw it, huge splash. So I throw a line in the water and I am hooked up to something big. <laughs> Tight to drag a little. Yeah. I will, I have light line on. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god! Oh my god, what a tank! What a tank! Jeez! Much like last night we said we were going to get to camp early and or get to camp earlier so we weren't setting up in the dark and cooking in the dark and uh, it might end up that way. <laughs> Only five after seven now. If Ben would stop catching all the damn fish then maybe we could get on to cook dinner. I definitely don't feel the need to make a meal or anything like yep. or anything else. I'm like having granola bar or something, that's it. Definitely don't feel the need to dirty another dish. <laughs> Got a nice breakfast skillet to start the day. Red and yellow peppers. Red, yellow, and orange, actually. Bacon, hash brown, eggs. All made at home in the freezer. Smell that. <laughs> That's going to be a lot better than my maple acorns today. <laughs> a bit of rain off and on for a couple hours probably started around four or five and the sky all to the north of us is, is pretty dark right now <laughs> and slowly drifting this way but so far the rain's holding off but to the south looks beautiful and the lake is just like a picture today Got ready to launch the boat, and here comes the rain. I heard of the rumble of thunder maybe an hour ago, but it's just been lightly spitting since then, and now it's it's raining. I call it rain now. 
been wet before. Okay, just like yesterday, our first rapid of the day is a pretty good one. This is LaBelle Rapids. Coming out of LaBelle Lake. Good to go. Alright. Beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, perfect. Couldn't ask for a better day. Oh yeah. Oh, that was fun. We just had to portage around Bredner Falls. No way we were around that one today. Really pretty falls though. Uh oh, we got a little bit of sun coming out, just peeking through. It's so nice. Really hoping that we can dry out. I don't know which side of my raincoat's the wet side now. It's just soaked inside and out. Sweating and raining. Yeah, it's a train for sure. It's not that far away. Alright. This is called C3 Rapids. Maybe it's a class three, I don't know. <laughs> well, I have. It's a long winding kind of back and forth and we scouted what we could, so we're gonna take our time and 
pick our way down. We didn't see anything that looked deadly. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that was by far the most technical. That was cool. Uh. And the sun's coming out. Pardon? That was the most technical rapid I've ever run. Yeah. Get some layers off and try and dry out a little. Finally, seeing the sun. And then have a little snack lunch. As we have a long. That was such a fun rapid. <laughs> like long, kind of technical. Man. These black flies, I don't know if the camera can pick them up, but there's just dozens of black flies flying around. So far they're not biting, but. Ben said if they start to bite, he's calling an evac. Because uh, <laughs> we're not dealing with black flies in October. <laughs> I've got some little Havarti cheeses. Summer sausage. And, of course, sweet with heat mustard.
reached the forks. Coming in here to our left is the east branch of the Spanish. Behind me is the west, we just came down. And from now on, they both flow together. I guess this is camp for the night. So today, 
I got some plain oatmeal with raisins and some crushed cashews that I just threw in. It's gonna taste like absolute tree bark. <laughs> it's gonna be good energy for the day. I'll put a squirt of this in it. The bear shit in the woods. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look at that. Tosh coming in clutch. Is maple syrup? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. What if I had said no after you put it on? <laughs> <laughs> Molasses. Soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> What a morning. Holy cow. Black flies are already starting to come out. It's just after nine. It's so beautiful. That sun just blazing. Oh, absolutely love it. I wish moments like this would last a lot longer than they really do. This is a morning to remember. I wish I could capture the smell and the feel in the air today. There's just a crisp, fresh feeling. It's so nice. It's so beautiful out here. Funny thing, that boat that's just over my shoulder here has been up on that on that side of the bank, pushed up by ice or flood water or something for at least four years. Three years ago when I came down this river, that boat was up there. So whoever owns it <laughs> has never gone to look for it or I guess they assumed it was just lost. But if you're missing a 12 foot aluminum boat, I might know where it is. here in trains because a lot of the track here follows the river obviously that's how we got here and that was the first one we've actually seen we've heard a few off in the distance we try a few casts here we're at a spot called the flume this is the outlet of Pogamasing Lake adding a bit of water to the Spanish which can only help us right it seems like it's very, very clear water. There's decent visibility right in the outlet. Take a few casts and see if maybe the fish are hungry. Nice and easy. The 
it's still fun. So that was the passenger train that we came in on. I wonder if they recognized me as the, the idiot that tried to jump back, or that did jump back on the train. And off again. <laughs> Who knows? Oh. The dumb things I've done.
What a great spot to have dinner. I've got chicken with orzo in a cream sauce with sun-dried tomato, peppers. Mmm. That's still really hot. So we didn't film it, but we just managed to clean a little pike that Ben caught earlier today. Kind of between the two of us, we figured out the five fillet method and got a decent amount of meat off it, more than either of us were expecting. Ben caught, cooked, <laughs> or caught, cleaned, and then cooked the fish. And I showed up just in time to eat it. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, it turned out great. I got nothing to say about that one. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Well, we're up before the sun this morning and a quick breakfast and some coffee. And we're going to try and get on the water with the first of the sun. The sky is just starting to lighten up. I packed up my coffee into my Nalgene bottle. Lukewarm at best. We'll have the owner to check out these. Found these at the campsite yesterday. Those are pretty sweet. Look pretty cool. One of the cool kids now.
name for a rapid. Apparently it's where some loggers drowned some time ago. But we stopped for a little snack and had a look at it. I think we can run right up to what's what is really a, a small waterfall. I'm gonna try and run right up to the brink of it and then get off the river and just slide through a narrow little gap on the right hand side and avoid the canoe eating waterfall. next takeout. sketchy part. I'm going to stay right tight to this left hand, right hand shoreline. That's where I got to get out.
open. Yeah. It's a little dicey. some big waves in there. stretch river that was. But there's a nice little campsite right here. We didn't quite make it as far as we were thinking we might today. But that's okay. It's tomorrow still. I think we're gonna take this campsite. We're gonna check it out anyway. Is it decent? I think we're gonna call this home.
chili with Parmesan cheese. It smells like feet with cheese on it. <laughs> I thought that was meat. Sure. Oh, no. You don't need it. Is there anything else? Thank you. Not look like much, but <laughs> I'm sure it's good. This turned out to be another fantastic campsite. Plenty of room spread out. A little bit of firewood already here. Great, and a perfect. We have the river coming all the way around, so we have. Get 270 degree view of the water and the sun sets right in my face right here. I think this is my favorite spot of, of all the campsites. Might be. Give them a uh favorite moment of the trip or favorite thing that happened? Um, there could be a bunch. I know. I can think about about 10 right now. Yeah. That huge pipe was, that was crazy. <laughs> that thing was enormous. It was just funny how it happened too. Yeah. How we're, like, we're chumming the water with the other fish. <laughs> <laughs> like we're already like cleaning up. Like like a trophy bass that you got. That, like we're already spoiled, that we didn't deserve that one. Yeah. Some of the, the rapids on the west section were really awesome. That one that we ran the first one in the morning. Yeah. With the, the, the double drop in it. Yeah. That was cool, just how it all played out. So much fun. Yeah. And C3 was such a long, technical but like still big yeah even some of the stuff we ran today like like agnes that was a lot of fun is is that the one where i had the, the yeah 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 and that was one of my favorites of the whole trip yeah that was a great rapid there were some really big waves in there <laughs> yeah. like easy just big roller coaster waves like just keep yeah. the boat pointed straight and you're just gonna roll through them but so much fun oh yeah I was really tempted to, to, like, if we weren't pressed for time, I would have four tries back up and done that again. Yeah, it crossed my mind at the bottom. Even the morning that stands out to me is like when we woke up and it started raining. We got on the on Labelle Lake. Yeah. And we got to Labelle Rapids and ran that one, and it's, the world just felt small. It was pouring rain, and yeah, it was still like warm and comfortable. And, Yeah, those are all my favorite movies too. I remember just like, yeah, getting pelted by rain, and I remember just being in such a good mood. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. yeah like, this should really suck, but it's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about chasing down the train. <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good memory. It wasn't really like my favorite part, but yeah. it's going to be a good memory. It's been raining most of the night, but we're I hear Ben outside. We're getting packed up and getting ready. I'm trying to get everything in, like, consolidated as I can inside the tent so I can just pack my bag fairly quickly. But, oh, that's a little wet from yesterday. I had a decent sleep. The rain seems to have let off for a little while. It's just very lightly coming down now. So, hopefully, most of it's done. We can get on the river. But I got a feeling we're going to get wet regardless. We just heard a couple minutes ago a little peal of thunder and 
There was the slightest flash before it. So we're fingers crossed that we don't hear any more. We won't go on the water until we know it's clear. That GoPro is making it look a lot brighter right here than it really is. It's pretty dark. <sighs> First little swift this morning. This gray light. We've got lots of swifts to run through here today. This section of the river is, is pretty awesome. Just for fast water. There should be lots of Swifts and maybe a few class ones to run through. So our map indicates that this spot is um, a good sp place to see old growth pine. And I suppose it's trees like this that are straight as an arrow. <laughs> I don't know how old that would be, but a lot of these somehow managed to avoid the, the axe and saws of the lumber days. This just caught my eye over here on this great big white birch tree. <laughs> it's an enormous burl. Like, I put my hand on it. Maybe get some idea of how big that is. Good time to put the Thunderbox sign on this one. <laughs> they figured it wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. Oh, that's insane, though. It's pretty crazy. There's, there's big pine, big poplar. The cedars are pretty big in here. There's a few giant birch. Uh, I just wonder why specifically this spot got spared during the lumber days. It's right beside the river. Yeah, there's, oh, there's white and yellow birch. A giant yellow birch here behind me. And you have this beautiful little creek flowing right behind your campsite. hearing about a forest fire on the Spanish but everything to our left here river left is all scorched and burned all the trees are blackened and all kinds of dead pines and cedars yeah it just seems to be getting worse as we go downstream I'm not sure when that happened but it doesn't look like it was very long ago finally reached Eagle Rock. 
This huge big cliff face, this marks the end of the river and the beginning of Agnew Lake. So we've got somewhere in the neighborhood of about 10 kilometers left to paddle across the lake. I had an absolutely fantastic time out here with Ben. He's a great guy to trip with. We had so many good times. We were trying to think last night what our favorite memory of the trip was, our favorite moment of the trip, and it could have been any one of a dozen different times. Ben's got his own channel on YouTube, so if you pop over to his channel, you'll see his version of this video and a whole bunch of other content that he's made. And I know he would appreciate it if you gave him a subscription. It would really mean a lot. Help bump his channel up. Maybe we can get him up over a thousand subscribers and then he might get a chance to monetize his channel. So if you go over to Ben Beauchamp on YouTube, you'll find his channel. Thanks for coming along, folks. We'll see you on the next one. long crossing.